Have you ever taken a scenic drive through the countryside and noticed a curious pattern? Almost every barn you pass is painted red. It's one of those details that seems so normal, you don't think twice about it. But once you do, the question sticks. Why red? Why not blue, green, or white? Is it just a long-standing tradition, or is there a deeper reason behind it? As it turns out, the answer is a fascinating mix of history, science, and good old-fashioned practicality. And it's probably not what you'd expect. In this video, you'll find out why. Let's watch the video till the end. It will be very interesting. Centuries ago, farmers didn't have easy access to commercial paint like we do today. In fact, barns weren't painted at all for a long time because paint was very expensive. You could see it as a rich man's product, but they needed to protect their barns from rain, snow, and other pests. Just imagine this. You spent all your day building your barn, and upon waking up in the morning, your barn is being destroyed by termites or a place of residence for the bees. You will feel so frustrated. For this course, something had to be done. In fact, anything that could keep their band protected as well as their farm produce. They had to make theirs. Here's how it looked like. That's fascinating. Let's get to know how they did that. One of the key ingredients they used was milk, and this milk contained casein, a natural binder. Casein helped the pigments and other ingredients stick to the wood, making a durable, weather-resistant coating. When mixed with lime and rust, milk-based paint formed a chalky, matte finish that protected the barn from the elements. Now the lime. Another important ingredient was lime, or scientifically calcium hydroxide. It acted as a preservative and disinfectant. Lime helps prevent the growth of mold, mildew, and bacteria, which could otherwise damage the wooden structures. It also hardened over time, forming the protective layer that increased the barn's longevity. Lastly, Farmers often added rust to their homemade paint. This is generally where that color red came from. Rust, it wasn't just a colorant. It also played a practical role. It helped prevent fungal growth and protected the wood from decay. Since rust was abundant and easy to obtain from old tools or metal scraps, it became a common ingredient in barn paint. Over time, this mixture of milk, lime, and rust became the standard, giving barns their signature red color, a tradition that continues to this day which they made. The combination produced a long-lasting paint that dried and hardened quickly. Even today, it's still used. Oil is sold in most home improvement stores as a wood sealant. In historically accurate terms, barn red is not the bright fire engine red that we often see today, but more of a burnt orange red. As to how the oil mixture became traditionally red, this practical and affordable solution eventually became a tradition, which is why red barns are still so common today. Regardless of how the farmer tinted his paint, having a red barn became a fashionable thing. They were a sharp contrast to the traditional white farmhouse. As European settlers crossed over to America, they brought with them the tradition of red barns. In the mid to late 1800s, as paints began to be produced with chemical pigments, red paint was the most inexpensive to buy. Now, let's talk about why red, specifically, became the go-to choice. Back in our physics class, whether in elementary school, there was a common phrase, darker colors absorb heat while light colors release heat. Red and other darker colors absorb more heat from the sun compared to lighter colors like white or yellow. For this reason, red was the best color choice, protecting the livestock and store crops from pests and providing extra warmth. At this point, you might be thinking, okay, so red barn started as a practical choice. But why didn't farmers switch to different colors once paint became more affordable? The simple answer? Because of tradition. By the time farmers could choose other colors, red barns had already become a familiar sight. At some point, people associated red barns with hard work, family farms, and the rustic charm of rural life. At some point, red barns were so common that they started showing up in paintings, books, and even advertisements. If you've ever seen a child's toy barn, it could be bright red with white trim. That's because, over time, red barns became the image of farming. Even before commercial paints became widely available, red was still one of the cheapest colors to buy. This is because red was made using iron oxide or rust as said. It is a naturally occurring element that can be found in nature. This makes it cheap to produce. Thereby, it is the most budget-friendly option. Even today, despite these changes, red barns haven't disappeared. In fact, in many areas, they're still the most common type of barn you'll see. Some farmers paint their barns red simply because they like the classic look. Some just to honor family traditions. And let's be honest, red barns just look right in a farm setting. Beyond practicality and tradition, red has a deep psychological impact. Red is a strong, 
eye-catching color that stands out in a landscape of greens and browns. It is the only color that naturally grabs attention, symbolizing strength, energy, and warmth. Throughout history, red has been associated with power and importance. Think of royal robes, stop signs, and even fire trucks. This bold color has a way of standing out against any backdrop, making barns highly visible, even from a distance. This was particularly useful for farmers, as it helped their barns be easily recognizable amid large fields and rolling landscapes. In art, literature, and film, red barns frequently represent the timeless spirit of rural life. They evoke images of sunlit mornings, communal gatherings, and the simple pleasures of country living. For many, a red barn is not just a building, but a visual embodiment of tradition and continuity, a link between the past and the present. Even as modern technologies and architectural trends emerge, the red barn remains a cherished icon, lovingly preserved by those who honor their roots and the legacy of their ancestors. Red is also linked to feelings of warmth and comfort. It creates a sense of familiarity and nostalgia. That is why it's often used in marketing and branding to evoke a sense of home. This may explain why red barns continue to be a beloved symbol of farming and rural life. Whether intentional or not, the widespread use of red has helped barns maintain their iconic status in the countryside. At the end of the day, barns are red because of a mix of necessity, science, and tradition. What started as a homemade way to protect would turn into a cultural icon remembered throughout all generations. A symbol of hard work, resilience, and the heart of the countryside. Next time, when you take a road trip through the countryside and pass a bright red barn, remember the history behind that color. It wasn't just random. It's a story of hardworking and clever farmers. A smart science and a tradition that has stood the test of time. And who knows? Maybe now you'll see red barns in a whole new way. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe for more interesting content. We have other videos on our channel for you. Choose the left or the right video and enjoy.